What have the events in Dubai cost us? They knew the risks. How many assets did we lose? All of them. The sandstorm didn't help. The mission was a success. Clearly, your scale for success is a generous one. However, the erratic nature of the attack could work to our advantage. Interpol will be confused for weeks, and with our continued guidance, the people will come round eventually. We are all in this for the long game, after all. That's never changed. You think so? Do I need to remind you all how far we have veered off course? The Og incident has caused a schism in society. And things are worse than we projected, and growing more unstable every day. This will not be tolerated. To ensure the success of our vision, the disruptive elements must be excised. No one here disagrees with you. But let me fly to New York and I will personally evaluate the situation. We may already have the votes we need to ensure that the Human Restoration Act passes. Very well. Stanton, you accompany. We may need to exert financial as well as political pressure to silence anyone opposed. Proceed. Elizabeth. I'll contact you later. It won't succeed, Lucius, even with Dowd's money. Do you know what Rand will find in New York? Weak, ineffectual men. And with Nathaniel Brown still an unknown factor. Of course. That is why we're proceeding with our ultimate strategy. You have claimed much in the past, Huge. This is your chance to deliver. Everything is in place. We can initiate whenever you wish. How secure your communications, Bob. Jaina seems to have eyes everywhere these days. He and his juggernaut collective... Jaina's won't be an issue. I've made arrangements. I laid the foundations. Now it is time to get everyone's attention. H. Activate the sleep cell. Konečná stanice Růžičkovo nádraží. Příjezd za pět minut. Jensen, just getting off the train now. Copy that. We'll debrief when you get in. You're coming straight to the office? Unless there's a problem at a checkpoint. Your papers should be in order. Just keep your head down. Miller out. Let me help you with that, ma'am. Ma'am? Seriously? I could have gone with Sweetie. You get my message about Dubai? Yeah. I'm glad you're all right, Adam. That ambush sounded pretty bad, man. Not something I was expecting, that's for sure. Any idea who hit us? Well, I'm sure your task force will come up with something. And that it won't be what the Juggernaut Collective digs up. Kinda odd though, don't you think? Interpol sending your team, the Prague team, to Dubai in the first place? Miller said they were scrambling. Last minute intel. We were the only strike team available. Yeah, well, that's a lie. 
better get moving. The Collective has been keeping tabs on all task force divisions ever since we slipped you into one of them. We've got a team in Oman. Could be a hell of a lot faster than you guys. So why send us? I don't know. If the task force is an Illuminati front, like we all suspect, it doesn't make much sense to send it into an ambush. Unless they wanted our team to see something. Officially. go Don't make a scene of it. Wouldn't dream of it, Alex. I swear it's gotten even worse here in the past few days. Everyone looking over their shoulder. Terrified dogs like us are going to attack them again. Somebody probably will. You treat people like animals long enough, they'll start acting like animals. You say that like there's nothing we could do to stop it. I already tried two years ago. It didn't work out so well. So what? Are you saying we should just give up? Let hatred and prejudice take over? To hell with that! I'm saying I can only go after enemies I see, Alex. The men who caused all this, the true power brokers, they're the ones I need to stop. I thought you knew that. I do. You, me, the Juggernaut Collective, we're all trying to stop them. It doesn't mean turning a blind eye to- Then help me find them. Come on. If you're right about Dubai, about the Illuminati needing your team as witnesses, then we need to find out why. Who gave you the order to mobilize? Miller did. But it probably came from someone higher up the chain. Doesn't mean he's not in on it. Ever heard of the NSM? A neural subnet, sure. In TF-29, directors use it to plan ops and communicate privately in cyberspace. What's this? Whisper chip. Custom-made wiretap device. Janus designed it to fit inside the NSN's motherboard. Ah, the elusive Janus. Leader of the hacktivists. Am I ever gonna meet this guy? Someday, maybe. Right now you need to concentrate on Miller and find a way to access the NSN's motherboard. Hey, he's 
sound like shit. How you feeling? A little sore, but uh, I'll be alright. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. I've been through worse. Jesus, how fucked up is that to think, huh? Listen, Alex, my systems are acting up a little, so... I've gotta get checked out. But if you wanna meet, or... What? No. No, no, I'm fine, man. You can just take care of you. This girl's built tough. Give me a call when you're useful again, okay? Alright, I will. Talk to you soon. Open blinds. Good morning, Adam. You have one new message. From? David Sarin. <sighs> Play it. Adam, it's David. I know it's been a while, but after what happened in Prague yesterday... Look, son, whatever reasons you've had for not getting in touch these last two years, well, life's too short. I'm leaving for London soon. You saved his vidcall number? Yes, Adam. Just activate your TV system. As you wish. Seraph. I heard about the bombing in Prague. It's all over the news. Did anyone you know get hurt? You know me. I tend to keep to myself. I'm surprised you even know I'm here. Interpol called me when you applied for the job. Part of their extensive background checks. I gave you a glowing recommendation. Thanks. What do you want? What do I want? Jeez, Adam! I know 
Papa did some questionable things in the past, but a lot's happened in the last two years. To both of us. That's true. For what it's worth, I'm glad you made it out of Panchea. Thank you. It wasn't easy, as I'm sure you know. I was at death's door by the time the rescue crews pulled me out of the wreckage, and while the doctors were stitching me back together, my company fell apart. There wasn't anything I could do to stop it, not from a hospital bed. I heard Tai Young Medical bought everything up. They're the only biotech corporation that could, after the incident. Our patents, our tech, everything. Oh well, sometimes one dream has to die so another can rise from its ashes. You heard anything from Megan? <sighs> After all we went through, I thought she'd stand by me. Still, you know, she always wanted to be at the cutting edge. She didn't see a future for herself in Detroit, so she went to Versa Life. She moved to Hong Kong? San Francisco. They've got an offshore research facility there named Rokaseka Beach. I'm sure you've seen it in the news. California, huh? I wonder if she's told her mother. You want my advice, son? Write her out of your life. Because I'm damn sure she's written us out of hers. You talked to Pritchard lately? Frank! <laughs> out of all of us, I think he's the one who's changed the least. He'd probably tell you there wasn't anything about him that needed changing. I'm sure he would. But when the world transforms itself the way ours has, people need to adapt or get left behind. Frank's freelance now, but he's still in computer security, still in Detroit. I don't know if he'll ever leave. Your message said you were going to London. Casual trip? Or is this tied to the new dream? I'm, uh, meeting with the Santo group. Nathaniel Brown and his investors. Santo? They built the Udalek complex, the Og Ghetto, here in Prague. Why are you meeting with them? Brown's got big plans. He wants to focus on real solutions, ideas that look to the future. Y you've heard of the Safe Harbor Initiative? I've heard of Rabia, the walled city he and his company are building in the desert for Augs. Rabia's just a part of it. We're talking about self-sustaining, energy-efficient arcologies that can be replicated anywhere on Earth. Cities built by the Augmented for the Augmented. Where the dream of self-controlled human evolution lives on. It may not seem like it right now, son, but one day, people will move on from the incident. And when that happens, we'll be ready for it. I'm glad we caught up, Adam. I've always tried to look out for you, you know. That bombing yesterday. You didn't call to talk about the bombing. Just ask. It's nothing, really. I just need a signature so I can finish filing the bankruptcy paperwork. You need my signature? Yeah, apparently there was some kind of bureaucratic mix-up caused by you being declared legally dead for a year. The apartment in Detroit was leased in your name, even though we paid for it. Fine. Send me the paperwork. Thanks, Adam. I appreciate it, really. Goodbye, Seraph. Designed to promote the creation of safe and secure housing complexes where oppressed groups can live and work. Persecution. This international civil engineering and action plan is the brainchild of Santo CEO, Nathaniel Brown. Its flagship project, a glittering engineered city named Rabia, is slated to be publicly unveiled at one of Brown's upcoming safe harbor conventions. I, for one, cannot wait to learn more. This is Eliza Kassan, reporting to you live from Picus. Tradition. Precision. Refinement. Stanic watches. It's about time. In yet another augmented terror attack, 251 passengers aboard Sista Airlines Flight 451 were killed. When an augmented passenger broke into the plane's cockpit, ruthlessly butchered its flight crew. Details recovered from the black box recorder suggest that the man may have been suffering flashbacks to the AUG incident. That horrible day two years ago when augmented people all over the world flew into a psychotic killing spree, causing the greatest loss of life in recent history. I cannot speak for you folks, but terrifying memories of that day still haunt me. It will certainly be a while before any of us forget it. This is Eliza
Jessica-san, reporting to you live from Pikus. Keeping you alive and clearing the way to your future. Open the Around the clock, around the world. Pikus News, always watching, because you are always watching. I know I am not the only one wondering what the Augmented Rights Coalition hopes to achieve following news of yesterday's devastating attack in Prague. So let's hear from Dr. Talis Rucker, Ark's charmingly eloquent leader himself. What the non-augmented peoples of the world have failed to grasp is the incident for the tragedy for all. But it wasn't all of humankind who went crazy, Dr. Rucker. The loss of life on both sides was considerable, but instead of healing and dialogue, fear of the augmented has turned to hatred. Surely you cannot claim to be mistreated by governments when they have spent taxpayer money to build special living quarters for you and your kind. But when legislation forces augmented people out of their homes and into sequestered environments, there's no reason involved, only fear and expedience. That is why I moved to the Utelek complex. I thought you were forced to leave your native Germany. Were there not allegations that you... Those accusations were false when I arrived in Prague. There was a terrorist bombing at a local church. But, but Arg had nothing to do with that. We are... A non-violent organization. Yes, yes, you said that. That was six months ago. Earlier today, the Ruzika train station fell victim to a bombing. The third to hit Prague in recent months. Is this really the face of a pacifist? Join the discussion online and let us know what you think. This is Eliza Kassan, reporting to you live from PICUS. PICUS News, the global leader in fair, unbiased, and impartial reporting. And now for a close look at the events making headlines around the world. Here are our top stories. And now for a close look at events making headlines around the world. The impact of the AUG incident is still being felt, two years after the fact. The fear, the hatred, the violence. In the northwestern United States, a group of non-augmented citizens, armed with assault rifles, have begun patrolling the streets of Lewistown, Montana. They claim the U.S. government is not doing enough to protect them from augmented crazies. In China, meanwhile, a group of protesters demanding freedom and basic human rights for all regardless of augmented status, have been imprisoned by the Chinese government. In apparent retribution for that act, vigilante hackers tied to the Juggernaut Collective have crashed the Shenzhen Stock Exchange. Yes, folks, these are troubled times indeed. This is Eliza Kassan, reporting to you live from Pikes. The Santo Group. Construction, Arcology, Quality, Excellence. Santo, restoring the past and building the future. No doubt many viewers were horrified by that story I brought to you last week, in which a suicide gunman ruthlessly attacked a small augmented community near Dar es Salaam. Today, I'm here to bring you a glimmer of hope. European-based construction giant, the Santo Group, has successfully convinced the Tanzanian government to become a signatory of its Safe Harbor Initiative, designed to promote the creation of safe and secure housing. Where oppressed groups can live and work, free from persecution, this international civil engineering and action plan is the brainchild of Santo CEO, Nathaniel Brown. Its flagship project, a glittering engineered city named Rabia, is slated to be publicly unveiled at one of Brown's upcoming Safe Harbor conventions. I, for one, cannot wait to learn more. This is Eliza Kassan, reporting to you live from Pikus. Tradition. Finally hear from you, Agent. You doing okay? Sorry about the downtime. I'll get to the office as soon as I can, but my AUGs took a hit during the attack. I need to get them looked at. Of course. There's a lot of work ahead of us, Jensen. 
I'll see you when you get in. Dr. Kohler, I need to pay you a visit. Jensen! Now's actually a really good time for me, like right now! Something wrong? There are some guys in my bookshop. Pissed off the valley gangster looking guys. So, unless you want bloodshed the day after a terror attack. The front door isn't the most peaceful option. I got it. Do not give up faith in the church. Seeker, you are here to see the Builder? He has been asleep, but I cannot wake him. I do not know if he will recover. The Mother has said that he has lost faith and that we should shun him. But I cannot abandon so easily. Some of us remember, Builder. longer is it going to be? Granted. Access 
access granted. Another augmented terror attack. 251 passengers aboard Sista Airlines Flight 451 were killed. When an augmented passenger broke into the plane's cockpit and ruthlessly butchered its flight crew. Details recovered from the black box recorder suggest that the man may have been suffering flashbacks to the audience. Yeah, get over before that move. Granted. What exactly does Take it mean? All my Seeker, are you prepared for the ascension? I think you've got the wrong guy. No, I can see your purity. You are close, so close. And the Singularity Church of the Machine God can help take you the rest of the way. You know of it? I don't think your church can help me get where I'm going. Each of us lives with needs and desires, begging and howling for attention, for fulfillment. We barely have time to ponder what, if anything, lies beyond this wretched world. And you have some idea of what that might be? I am but a servant, tasked with spreading the word and offering hope to those who have none. But I have the teachings of the church to guide me. What would you like to do? This singularity church of the machine god. For augmented only? The word of the mother. Only the gifted will ascend. She has cast out the flesh flood in preparation. So you're here on a recruitment drive to fill up the numbers. And more. The Builder lives in this place, the dreamer of our ascension, now cast out at the will of the Mother. Let me guess, he's one of the flesh flawed. No, he simply had the crisis of faith. But I am not so blinded by my faith as others are. He was a friend once, a mentor, a leader in our church. Some of us remember. Do you have more questions? I saw your builder upstairs. He's not doing so well. I was afraid of this. His flesh is failing, as his faith did. Perhaps the mother was right to cast him out before he could tarnish the ascension. Doesn't say much for your church that you abandoned someone for asking questions. Not going to do much for your recruitment drive. One of the chosen holds vigil. That is all I can do. Yosef's passion turned to bitter poison, and the flesh is weak. There is nothing more to say, Seeker. Do you have more questions? Tell me more about this ascension. Our minds will depart their corporeal shells and merge with the divine consciousness of the Machine God. This is the ascension. Sounds like you're talking about uploading a copy of your brains to a computer. I didn't think that was possible yet. Thanks to the Builder, it is. But it is much more than a simple copy. It is transference. Yosef called it an evolution of the human condition. Do you have more questions, Seeker? Nothing right now. Maybe some other time. Very well, Seeker. I will be here if you change your mind. We carry the seeds of divinity within us. The future... Got to stay in control.
Daz is the man. He'll set you up. You need a bit. You want Praxis, eh? Biocell, hypostim, painkillers? I might be interested. I sell these things. Yeah, I got that. Buy something. at all. Come on, I can tell you have more credits. You want anything else? I have everything I need. I still have more. Biocells, painkillers, right over there. Do you despair for your Things need to change around here. I got the connections now. I got the balance. With that kind of muscle, I can expand this whole operation. We only deal with the balance in for 20. That's it. 20% guarantees Neon is the go-to drug all across Europe. 20% is nothing for that kind of reach. Well, I'm bringing the valleys, so... I take 50% of what's left. It's only fair. Look, I am bringing the fucking Navalis to the table. I deserve a fucking bigger piece.
You're looking for the best prices in Prague? <laughs> Not talking hot dogs here. If the hot dogs aren't your main business, why don't you have a store? See, this way, I get to keep my overhead down and pass on the savings to the customers. Entrepreneurial. Better believe it. What you got? Well, I got info. The kind that's worth something. Could always use reliable intel. Who couldn't? But for that, I only accept payment in your opposite. No problem. What do you have? Sophisticated choice. Is that all the info you need? Excellent choice. I'm finished for the day. You've taken everything I have. I can pay you. You must have neuropathy. I only sell neon. Please, I can pay you. You must have neuropathy. Sorry, we only sell rainbow. A different kind of stuff. This is called neon.
zranené jedince, prosím, ohlase úzadu. Don't forget them. Do Clary! Do Clary! Show me latest papers. Otherwise you cannot go through here. I know the drill. The drill has changed. Too many forgeries. All Ogs must now carry a supplementary permit authentication card. Do you have this card? I'll clear it up with the people I work for. They'll take care of it. And who do you work for exactly? Does it matter? You worried I might outrank you? <laughs> of course not. These rules, they apply to everyone. Besides, I am regional director of uh, document checking. I report to God directly. It is God who tells me that if you continue this way, without proper permit, I am morally obliged to shoot you. Is that right? My friend, I know what you're thinking. It's terrible the way they make laws against your kind. But listen, maybe I can do something to help. We could come to an understanding. What kind of understanding? Lucky for you, I know a guy. An expert in... Uh, permitification. A document agent. He offers permits, authentication cards. Peace of mind. With his help, you go wherever you want, whenever you want. No more hassles. What do you say? This document agent you mentioned, you see the one in charge? He gets you to stop Oggs and offer them this opportunity to do business with him. Go see for yourself. My friend has documents to pass checkpoints, to keep police off your back, to get into parts of Prague you never knew existed. Tell him Drahumir sent you. You'll see. I give you address, yes? All right, give me the address. I think I'd like to see who's behind all this. Pshekashka. There is a courtyard behind the apartment building. Very easy to find. My friend will be there. He will get you latest permit card. Just pay him and don't ask questions. Looking forward to the end of the day. Don't blow your cover. Fucking Kano. Looking for permit. I was stopped by someone named Drahomir at a checkpoint. He sent me here. Apparently you help Augs with documentation, upgrade their permits. You have the money. Maybe. You want to tell me what I'm paying for exactly? You pay to get your name on the list. Melina upstairs, she works on your shiny new permit. You come back in one week to pick it up. Standard pickup fee will apply. How much do you charge people for this? Not people. Augs. 35,000 credits. You're not even trying, are you? You just blatantly scam Augs out of as much as you can. You want updated permit or not? Documents are actually pretty good. You'll see. Trust me, the girl is very talented. These documents, what are they? Stolen? Forged? Invisible? Look, just give me what you have, and I'll put your name on the list. That's how it works. Melina does surprisingly good work, puts more effort in than we ask her to. 
I think I've heard all I need to about your offer, and about your friend upstairs. I'm gonna try my chances without the papers for now. Suit yourself. Only a matter of time before they come knocking at night. Washes the uniform this time. Expanded. Told Normans they need permits as well. They could be in prison. That bombing was bad for business. There's a bad vibe on the streets. <sighs> I think maybe we have exhausted this plan. Might all be in Golan already. The city smells wrong.
Jensen, I'm getting worried. Should I be calling every police station in town looking for you? That's not necessary. I'll be in soon. Good, because we've got work to do. For the squeak. <laughs> Off we go. I hope you're not Edward Broad, because you don't look at all like the picture. You want to tell me what's going on here? Arts and crafts? I think you work for those scam artists out there. Or do they work for you? It was never meant to be a scam. More like social services for the disaffected. You know, like no og left behind. Looks like a forgery ring to me. I hate the word forgery. I prefer graphic arts activism. I, I help people to, to, to be other people. And seriously, try getting anywhere with forgery on your resume. You're involved in something that takes advantage of people, and you're worried about your resume? Hey, that, that may have come out wrong. I mean, yes, career is important, but it's not everything. I know that. I, t I tend to get really nervous when I'm stressed. I, I mean, I, I'm stressed when... which always just makes things worse. Okay, look, I have no reason to be nervous here, do I? You're totally on my side, right? One of the good guys, not like Drahomir. I'm not here to make you nervous. I just need you to explain it to me. The essentials of what's been going on here. Essentials, right. Essentially, I was trying to help my augmented friends. The way I saw it out there, the promise of fake documents was being used to extort people. How does that help them? The extortion part sucks. I swear to you, I'm totally anti-extortion. Obviously. Let me explain better. The government, they print up these official permits each month. But they only sell them to the rich corporate and military allies. Meanwhile, the other orgs, they get kettled out of the city because their documents aren't up to date enough. That's what was happening to my friends. Government corruption versus organized crime. And regular people get caught in the middle. You gotta love the classics. When it was just me, I didn't charge anyone. But then Drahomir shows up and turns it into this big operation with fake checkpoints and ridiculous fees. I didn't want anything to do with that. I wanted to stop. Why didn't you? I was scared. Drahumir said he would kill me. 
looked at me kind of like you're looking at me now. You're not going to kill me, are you? What do you think? I'm not sure yet. Look, the real problem is Drahomir and that checkpoint of his. Without him in the picture, the rest of them couldn't run a lemonade stand. Maybe he could... You know. You think I just walk around shooting people? Don't you? I like knowing there are other options. Okay, so stab him, scare him, or get the police to do their job for once. I remember Drahumir mentioning this cop who threatened him. She was hanging around his checkpoint. Who knows? Maybe there really is one good cop in Prague. That sounds like the safest bet. Otherwise, you're asking me to pick a fight with a bunch of guys in uniforms, scam artists or not. The whole city would come down on you. Still, up to you how you want to handle it. Right. And just so we're clear, you are going to stop forging documents now. I don't like getting into trouble. And even worse is other people suffering because of me. No more faking documents ever again. Unless someone really, really needed one. Then I'd probably do it. I mean, if we knew for a fact that we could help someone. We should do whatever we can, right? It depends what you have in mind. The docs I make, they really can fool the authorities. Sort of. Sort of? Drachomir flooded the streets with forgeries, so the city started tracking more, adding scanners, validation numbers. Now, unless one of my permits gets activated in the city database, it's just plastic. So you're telling me these people pay for forgeries and then probably get deported anyway? It doesn't have to be that way. I have two permits that I literally just made. And I think we can really help these people. If you're willing. Alright, how do we help? Their names are Edward Broad and Irenka Bauer. Drachomir was going to charge them like 20 more times. But maybe you could just give them the forgeries? Early Christmas present? You said it's just plastic that people get deported anyway. How does this help them? I think I know how to get them activated. As long as you're willing to follow through. Alright. I'll go meet Edward and Irenka. In the meantime, are you going to be okay here? Once they learn that Drahomir has been taken care of, the others will leave me alone. He's the one I'm scared of. I've already taken care of the guys outside. They won't be a problem. Thank you. As mysterious military types go, you're pretty neat, I guess. By the way, there is a safe over there where they keep their money. I'll give you the code. 2489. Feel free to help yourself. What about you? Way ahead of you. Because Dragomir looks like a cop, doesn't mean he's a real cop. He's... Not from here, are you? What gives it away? You just walked up to a police officer. And I have this funny feeling you expect something good to come out of it. About the repression in the city. Look, I have nothing against your kind, okay? Personally, I mean... But I am on the front lines of a police state. I am a child of my moment in history. Sounds awfully abstract for a cop. To be competent, I have to be complicit. My way of being okay with that is to be abstract. I don't drag human beings from their homes. I drag historical outliers. I don't shoot into unarmed crowds. I fulfill the will of history. You mean the will of those in power? 
Same difference. I used to be a cop, for what it's worth. Let me guess. Not in Prague. And not since the incident. In America. Detroit. A long time ago. I envy you. I look forward to the day that I can say I used to be a cop. A long time ago. That bad? If I could do it again, I... I would be a fireman. No one looks into a fire and thinks, Shit, does this one really deserve it? You can just follow orders and feel good about it. I recently got stopped at a fake checkpoint. Heard there was a cop around here who might know what I'm talking about. Draumir, he's a slippery fuck. Pays off all the right people, provides all these bullshit documents that prove he's legit. Regional inspector, my ass. I'm putting a file together. A file? This guy's dressing up like a cop and harassing hogs in the street. <laughs> Sounds like 90% of the people I work with. Listen. The right amount of coin in the right kind of pocket, fancy looking paperwork, those things go a long way in this city. Especially if the perception is that he's not really doing anything wrong. Just giving Oggs a hard time. There's more to it than that. That's exactly what I think. Why don't you fill me in? What's Drahomir been up to behind my back? There was a girl named Elena. The way she tells it, she was forced at gunpoint to work for Drahomir. They kept her in a little room and made her forge documents for them. Why didn't she go to the police? She was scared. A lot of people are scared. Yeah, of course they are. Prague's going to hell. The bad cops don't care and the good ones are too busy filling out forms. Fuck it. Drahomir has been pulling this shit for long enough and I'm sick of being told to ignore it. Official police business now. Stay out of it. Got an update on your friend Drahomir. I've seen Drahomir pretend to be many things. My friend was never one of them. It's been taken care of. He's not gonna be a problem anymore. Thank God. I don't know how you did it, but I'm glad you did. Listen, if you ever need documents for something... I'll be fine. Thanks. We were machines, sir. But terror and pain have turned us into souls. There is something struggling within. Moments when something enters into us. Thoughts come upon us which are not of us. We feel what we did not used to feel. We hear voices teach us to have children so that we may love them. Primus, is that you? Are you a Renka Bauer? Who are you? Please, take whatever you want. Just leave us alone. I didn't come here to take anything. You haven't? Irenka, she gets very scared. Whatever you've come to tell her, you should first tell me. I... I am the robot Helena. Irenka is not well. We must shield her. Irenka paid someone to make her an odd permit. To keep her from being taken to Gollum City. That someone wants to come through. Really? If, if that's true, she'll be... We'll be very happy. If we can stay in Prague, maybe they'll leave him. There was once a great play that predicted so much. Robots, revolutions, the future of mankind. She memorized all of it. It's her way. It's my way of trying to understand. I'll take your word for it. Here. This permit is good enough to fool anyone who takes a look at it. Does... does this mean I don't have to hide anymore? It's not that simple. You're still in danger. The permit needs to be activated. Otherwise, a routine scan will mark you for Gollum just the same. Uh, I don't understand. Sorry. There's no legal way for you to stay here. You should prepare for the worst. Uh, I... Uh, we don't know how to prepare. I'll take care of the activation. 
Just keep a low profile until I can get it sorted out. Thank you. We appreciate it. Granted. Granted. Granted.
found him by now. I swear we've walked back and forth 20 times already. Wait for this district to be turned into condos.
keep hiding. Are you using your eyes or trying to fight by the smell? You think you read all their books or it just leaves the dust? Send out a can of oil. Oh, you'll be love that shit. Initiated. Access granted. He's gone. All of this place is a fucking mess. There are worse things. Yes. Granted. messing with us.
think he's read all these books or he just he has no to go. He is here. to pay for drinks all night, huh? You think he's read all these books, or he just leaves them out for looks, man? I am convinced he is not here. to talk. We do not have all day to look for this cockroach. He is good at hiding. Granted.
Jensen! Thank God! I'm down in the dungeon, man. You remember the title of my super secret book, right? I remember it's red. Granted. Granted. Jensen, my favorite techno wonder kind. Sorry about the goons, man. They, uh, they didn't give you too much trouble, did they? They're not going to be a problem for now. What do they want? You behind on your protection money? I. I don't think it's about money. I got this little misunderstanding with their boss, Otar. You know how it is with these gangster types. Enough to know that there's no such thing as a little misunderstanding. The Valley internal politics. I... I'm gonna get it sorted. Gonna see the big boss myself. As soon as things settle down. The day after a bombing, man, it's... Well, I mean it's scary, right? I'm surprised people go out at all. Sometimes people don't have a choice. My systems took a hit. I was hoping you could help me get everything running again. Took a hit? You mean... Oh, shit! Why didn't you say so? We need to get you in the chair. The chair. You know I've always wanted to get a closer look at those sadie fogs of yours. A real close look. So, uh... So let's strap you in, get the gas going, and then, well, then I just need to sort of dive in. Uh, feel my way around. What exactly are you gonna do to me? I'm not sure yet. First I gotta get in there to see what's wrong. But don't worry. I'm not gonna do anything to you I wouldn't do to myself. I promise. Besides, you've been here a few times, you know I'm professional. You've never had to put me under before. I never saw you the day after an explosion before either. That was a big shock to your system, man. Kaboom! Now, you want me to fix you or not? Hang on a sec, you're gonna put me under for how long? What if the Diwali send reinforcements? Oh, you're just stalling. Those illiterates aren't going to get in here. Don't be scared of the chair, okay? The chair is gentle. I promise. This thing with the Diwali is nothing. Otar's pissing where he shouldn't. I count on you to fix me, Kohler. To some extent, your problems are my problems. That's sweet, Jensen. Otar Botkoveli is the Diwali number two guy. The men outside, they were his men. But the big boss man is Radic Nikolatse. 
He is the number one guy. And I know Radic, so... So don't worry about it. Now, are we gonna do this procedure, or what? All right. Let's just get this over with. Relax, Jensen. It's... it's gonna be fine. You... you won't even know I'm in there. You feel weightless, far away, like you're someone else. But Kovar's gonna bring you back and make you you again. Before you know it. I swear I didn't mean to... Your retinal display should be back soon. You can still move, right? Where, where did you...? I was... I was trying to connect the unconnected. But you got some strange fucking ogs back there. I, I mean, I, I probably shouldn't have. Uh, here, let me get you some water. Or something stronger, maybe? Water. You got it, Jensen. Just, uh... Just ease up. Okay, don't freak out. Rebooting was the only way to save you. Save me from what, Colin? Core meltdown. You almost melted my chair. So I reset you, and I found these... these, uh... I think it's better if I show you what I found. Bring up your system display. You need to see this for yourself. These are your implants. You're familiar with all these, right? Yeah. David Seraph installed them. Took two years for my body to get used to everything. Right. Well, I had to undo some of that getting used to. What's going on, Kohler? Why do I feel different? Something was trying to vampire the juice out of you. I couldn't figure out what until after the reboot. Turns out your Factory Zero is not the standard Factory Zero. What am I looking at? Experimental fucking test dogs, man. Hidden inside your body. You're telling me I got more implants than I thought I did? More than your body can handle. Pretty cool, right? I'm not sure yet. I want to show you what happens when you activate one of these suckers. See that? A major spike in your power consumption! Where the hell did these things come from? I can't answer that. All I know is the explosion must have woken them up. But man, you want to use these crazy fucking things? That's your right. We just gotta make sure it doesn't fry you. Now, I think I maybe got an idea on how to do that. Try shutting down one of your other implants. You know, just for fun. See that? Cooled you right down. You have the power to balance your system if you want. Just, you know, don't activate everything all at once. What would happen if I did? Well, you'd suffer some major glitches due to overheating. We're talking risk of permanent damage. So, you know, maybe don't do that. All right. Reset me now, Kohler. I'll reactivate what I need myself. Okay. So I'm not always gonna be there for you like this. I can't just follow you around to reset things and hold your neural weave together. Whatever choices you make from here on out, they're your choices. Thought you were supposed to be my AUG expert. I specialize in Chinese black market, okay? The shit I found hidden inside you, spliced into your system like that, looks to me like it's from Mars, man! I'm pretty sure they're not from Mars. I just... I feel bad. You deserve answers I can't give you. I can help manage your system better than anyone in Prague. I help you make the most of the new augs we just found. But you can't tell me where the hell they came from. As far as I know, David Seraph installed all my augs. There's something inside me I don't know about. He's the one I need to talk to. I am familiar with Saris' work. These new augs, they... They look different to me. I mean, that neodymium shell. Who uses dimorphic magnetoreological fluid like that? Seriously, if you talk to Sarif, you need to ask him that. Shit really stands out. Pretty fucking cool, actually. 
You ever seen anything like this before? An AUG system that's deliberately hidden like that? I don't know, Jensen. I mean, I heard of people getting the black market treatment before. Pass out in Prague, wake up in Shanghai. But usually they wake up with less AUGs, not more. What exactly makes these AUGs so different from my other ones? They look like experiments, is what? Loose wiring everywhere, man. It's, it's like half of you is uh, untested, unfinished, unbelievable. It's... it's beautiful, is what it is. Why would Seraph have hidden these things inside me? I don't get it. I am not convinced this is a Seraph job. The tech itself is super high-end, but the PDOT insulation, sloppy. The bone mounting mounted on the quick. Just doesn't have Sarif's touch. Looks more like a retrofit to me. Something much more recent. Um, what are you thinking? I'm thinking how much I hate being unconscious. You said these additions look recent. How recent? Within the last two years, give or take. Something happened to you in that time? I was pulled out of the ocean and put in some facility in Alaska to recover. There's a few months there that... The more I try to remember, the blurrier it gets. Shit, Jensen. That's terrifying. This tune-up went longer than I expected. Let's wrap this up. Right. Here, take some Praxis kits for the trouble. Praxis solves everything. Keeps customers happy. Just uh, remember what I showed you about managing your juice. It's gonna be a balancing act for you. Well, unless... Unless what, Kohler? There could be a way to optimize. It's just... It would involve getting something from Otar. A neuroplasticity calibrator. There's a way for me to use everything I have without compromise? I want to know about it. I was hoping you'd say that. I order all my fancy tech from this illegal catalog, right? But... My last shipment got intercepted... by Otar Botkoveli. The same Otar whose men were looking for books out there before? I am not going to force you. I want you to want to do it. I want you to want to be an augmented god among men. If that sounds like something that interests you, then you should know that Otar runs an underground casino in the Chisti district. The entrance is in a small courtyard off Hlavni Street. Thanks for the info, Kohler. Thanks for the praxis. Jensen, it's Miller. Listen, I need your eyewitness report as soon as possible. What's your ETA? Depends on how many cops ask to see my papers. Oh, fuck. Not much I can do about state police after yesterday's attack. Get in when you can. Miller out.
One more time. Then the area is secure. Then I'll get and you. And cautious control. Thank you. Thank you so much for what you've done. Thank you. I I didn't know what to do. There are not many people a man like me can call on for help. What do they want? What everybody wants. Money to feel strong. At first, I thought they were here to take me away. Any moment now, they will take me away. Maybe it doesn't have to come to that. Don't get an old man's hopes up. Unless... My daughter? Did she send you? She did, didn't she? Why else would you? Please, tell me. When can I see them? Why would your daughter send me? I thought maybe, maybe she and the little one finally decided to, to help Grandpa with his permit situation. But she probably understands that I need to avoid detection. It is better not to make contact. When was the last time you saw them? A few years. Since the day of the, you know. The day of the incident? The time I ran naked onto a football field as a teenager, that was an incident. This, this was the work of the devil. He closed our eyes, forced us to see what he sees. That's a long time not to see someone you care about. It's not their fault. My son-in-law, he... He keeps them away from me because... Well, because... Because why? What am I, on trial? Soon you'll be judging me just like he did. Like they all did. Judging you for what, Edward? They say I became a monster. In the park. It was during the incident. You were with your family when the signal went out. Daryl's broadcast. It caused all those Ogs to lose control. I grabbed the youngest by the wrists. We were spinning. We spun like mad. I don't know where it came from. This... Exhilaration that wasn't mine. It was reckless, I admit. There were mosquitoes in my brain. There was blood. They say that I... It couldn't have been me. Someone else must have... A stranger, after I blacked out. Please, tell me you believe me. Tell me it isn't possible that... I did that to him. When the signal was broadcast, Augs everywhere were made to do terrible things. Things they would never have done otherwise. Some of them can't remember, or choose not to be able to remember. The truth is, yes, it's possible, Edward. But that doesn't necessarily make you responsible. It was out of our control. I said, I, I tried to tell them. Whatever my hands may have done, my heart did not. But what kind of defense is that? If I can't forgive myself, why should they? One of them is still alive, and whether I ever get to see him or not, I want to remain as close as I can. I want to remain in Prague. Here, this permit should fool anyone at a glance. I remember the officer saying I would have to pay again. Is that true? No, I'm not here to collect. I'm here to help. I appreciate that. So, what now? Do I have to activate something? I can put on my nice coat if necessary. If I have to wait in line, I'll wait in line. I don't complain. The situation's a little less legal than that. Oh. Do you need me to break in somewhere? I'll take care of it. Just try to keep a low profile until I figure out how to validate your number. All right, I can do that. I will wait here. Milena, I met with both those Ogs you made permits for. 
Now what? There is a computer at the government kiosk that handles the augment permit registry. You have to access it. Quote unquote. You mean break in? The code to the server room is 6788. Be careful, there may be other forms of security. All right, I got it. Currently violating civilian conduct code 512 there. Yes? What can I get you? Beer? Something else? What else have you got? Oh, just an item of interest. For someone who lives off of their sales, you're unusually reserved. Well, sometimes it's hard to know who to trust. Especially these days. For example, I don't suppose you have any neuroposine you would be willing to spare, do you? Sure. Here you go. Thank you. I can't tell you how much this means. These are tough times. We all have to do what we can. You understand? That's... You have no idea how many people just look the other way. But we can't afford to. Not Oggs. And not anyone else. What happens to one happens to all of us. The neuropazine isn't even for you, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. I'm what you might call a... Well, I think of myself as a Samaritan smuggler. I get things for people in need. I'm glad I could help. Listen, I can't let you leave without thanking you properly. I store a few supplies in the basement. The code to the door is 1015. Help yourself to what's down there. Thanks. Don't mention it. Like you said, we all need to help each other. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Let's see those odds and ends you have for sale. 
You can't go wrong with that. I'm good for now. As you wish. License permit, voucher, document of authority, temporary pass, travel coupon, and or certificate of authenticity. Good old days, we just asked for ID. Good old days are gone. <laughs> Haven't seen one of these before. Orange level. You are some kind of badass? Just someone with a job to do. And the tools to do it, obviously. Go on through. What can I get for you? Damn drones have been hunting us for three days. Finally thought they'd given up. Been quiet since last night, but... I guess they were just fucking with us. I didn't know they did that. My name's Paulina, by the way. Adam. Thanks for helping, Adam. I know we should have run, but Romero said to stay here and wait. So, you're a friend of his? Do you have some news? I don't know who you're talking about. Romero, he's this cop. The only good cop in this entire city. He's helping us get out of Praha. Told us to wait down here, but... We haven't heard from him in a couple of days. Christ, right now I almost wish I was back in Golem. You were in Golem City? Out of the frying pan, as they say. We were staying low, thought the worst was behind us, until the Dvali scooped us up. We got sold to a mining camp up north, and we were on our way when... I don't know what happened. Someone, an angel, I think, started shooting at the truck. One of the other girls we were with was killed, but we managed to get away. We got hidden, stayed safe, and contacted Romero. Cut to now. You should get out of the sewers. Sooner or later, you're gonna take a wrong turn and get hemmed in. If it comes to that, the drones won't even have to aim. Drones or Dvali? We'll be dead either way. Might as well see how far we can get, right? Listen, just because we're staying down here doesn't mean you need to. The door over there is a shortcut to the surface. It's useless to us, but the code is 5398, if you're interested. Nick's not supposed to be here. Shh. I am here. I'll take your word for it. I was part of it. The the 
the hive mind. Inside the gate, I questioned what holds us together. Where? Why? Now. Now this. Exiled from exile. I have been... disconnected. Disconnected? Disconnected from what? I don't understand what you're saying. If there is a lack of understanding between my brains, may not always misfire like these. He did this to me. It's what it does. I can't force you, because I'm not like him. Not like who? Who forced you? To... to... together. They succumbanize to him. Him, the opportunist. The savior. The rat. When I resisted, I saw. I saw. I saw! It made him fear me. You've obviously been through something. Someone's harmed you. If you can help me understand, then maybe I can help. Yes, okay. You'll be fine. I can tell. You'll... You'll... You'll understand. You'll empathize. Because what it really is, is... 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 He's just like us, but more. It's a cry for help. You'll pick up on that. What's a cry for help? The, the, the little mind thing. The persuasion. He's trapped by what he can do. Just like the rat. It makes so much sense now. Those most scared of what the world had become were most likely to cling to the first alternative. Now they're all in... in... in signaled. Let me see if I got this straight. Everyone beyond the gate is... in signaled to something. Like the rat. Exactly! I'm glad we understand each other. Okay, okay. Just remember, you'll only be able to confront him if he knows that you know that he knows. So, obviously, you'll need the name. The name. I'm not supposed to give it away, but I must. I must, I must. And then you must, yes? You're asking me to go beyond that gate, to confront someone. Someone who's harmed you, who may be harming others. I'm willing to do that, but I need to know more about what's happening. He casts them close. He brings them away. You must find out how to... to... to, to uncotangle him from the others. To resist the mentality. They need to be eased out. Figure out what holds them all together. Because it's not his... his personality. When you finally see Richard for who he really is, you realize it cannot possibly be that. Richard, huh? All right. Let's go see what I've agreed to. The Pied Piper is a rat. A rat! Stranger, he should not be. Outsider, he's not one of us. Do not look at him. He will harm us. He cannot harm us. He will behave himself. He will be made to behave. Richard will know what to do. He will listen to Richard. Richard, protect us, Richard. 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 Come closer. Let me see you. There's nothing to be scared of. Everyone's worst impulses get checked at the door. Yours included. I hope you understand the need for this. We preach pacifism here. Alternatives to terror. Don't want animals dragging in the mud. Who are you? What, what, what is all this? This... This is what the new freedom looks like. A collaborative elaboration of the imaginative experience. <laughs> experiments of some kind. We're beyond experiments. We're establishing truths. New models of belonging and community. Ones in which people can actually live. You are a little utopia. There's a man outside who... He asked, he asked me to come. He said you... Man outside. I know what it's like outside. Trapped between acts of humiliation and acts of terror. Between resolutions and registry codes. The canned laughter. The scripted dreams. It's no longer a place for people. I came because I thought something was... It... 
It's wrong. I had reason to believe something's wrong. Everything is wrong. That's why we're here, bracketing out the terrors. If only in this one tiny corner of the world. Allow me to suggest something. A version of you. A version that strips away all suspicions, free of the sinister cells we cling to along the way. Here, you can be free of the injustices, the suffering, your own animal impulses. Finally, you can be human. Physics said I had to see through you, your attempts at manipulation. To see you for what you do. Some part of you abhors violence. Some part of everyone does. See, I know you better than you know yourself. I know you don't want to hurt anyone. I may not know exactly what's going on here, but I do know that an honest man wouldn't need to hide behind a screen. I know what you're thinking. You can't wait to be the best version of yourself. I don't know for a fact that you're doing anything wrong. That's because I'm not. Unless you count saving these people. We live in a world of brutality, repression, exile. The Restoration Act is the single greatest human rights violation of all time. These people deserve better than that. Most men who claim to be saviors, they... You have a skeptical personality. It's understandable. You're a product of your time. No one's forcing you to stay. You, you, you want me to leave? What business? I want you to understand. The people who choose to be here, they are good people. And with my help, they have done something miraculous. They have found a better version of themselves, of society. Promise me you won't jeopardize that. I think you're the one who's harming these people. As you can see, I'm not harming anyone. I know you believe me. I didn't come here to jeopardize these people. That's good enough. That's all I need to hear. What do you mean he's being manipulated? 
I don't know exactly. Fine. Everything will be just fine. You don't believe that any more than I do. They will make an example of us. You see, this has been planned since the incident. Stop talking. You sound like a conspiracy. What's going on? I didn't expect to hear from you. I didn't expect my doctor to find dormant augs hidden in my system. What? Dormant experimental augs. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Adam, you know the decisions I made for you two years ago. Yes or no? No! All the work we did on you was above board. You have my word on that. What, uh, what exactly did you find? Experimental test dogs spliced into my system. Kohler said something about a neodymium shell. Who would have designed something like that? My God, you've got a Titan Og? It's impossible. It was just a concept. You just said this wasn't you. It wasn't. The DoD showed me schematics three years ago and asked me if I thought it could work. It was designed by somebody else, Vadim Orlov. Megan and I interviewed him once, but he wouldn't have fit in. These schematics you saw. Don't suppose you kept a copy? They were classified. I never had a copy. The only reason I even saw them was because the Defense Department valued my opinion. Seraph Industries did good work back in the day. When we signed a schematic, you knew it was solid. Orlov? Sounds Russian. Who is he? Why wouldn't he have fit in? He was supposed to be a boy wonder, a neuroscience prodigy. His master's degree in Moscow, post-grad in the U.S. His grades were off the chart, but his theories were uh, sketchy at times. Megan said his ethics were questionable. Megan? Megan Reed said that? The woman who gave you my DNA to experiment with? We didn't hire him, Adam. Two minutes into the interview and I could tell Orloff didn't like his ideas being challenged by anyone. Least of all, a strong woman like your ex. I've got to find this guy. Adam, let me track him down for you. I'm leaving for London soon, but I can make phone calls, reach out to people. Seraph Industries may be gone, but my name still carries weight in certain circles. Do it. Contact me by info link when you have something. I won't let you down on this. I never felt right about losing touch with you after Panchea. When I heard you'd shown up in Detroit alive a year after everyone thought you were dead, why didn't you get in touch with us? I couldn't. Rescue crews pulled me out of the ocean and dumped me in a clinic in Alaska. Nobody knew who I was. For a long time, neither did I. My god, son, you don't think... I mean, that could have been when... Find Orlov, Seraph. I've got questions I need answered. I will, I promise. I'll call you. 